Sticking with Russia and China, a Russian figure skating star, Kamila Valieva, is on track for an individual gold medal after her winning performance in the Women's Olympic short program yesterday. The 15-year-old has been allowed to compete despite testing positive for a banned heart drug prior to the games. But there is new reporting this morning about the sample she provided. In Valieva's arbitration hearing on Sunday, there was testimony on her behalf that suggested the positive result may have stemmed from a case of contamination with medication her grandfather was Taking. I'm sorry. And the New York Times reports a document filed in her hearing reveals that in addition to the banned drug, there were two other legal substances that can treat the heart found in her sample from Christmas Day. Now, according to the chief executive of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, the benefits of the combination of the three substances, substances quote, seem to be aimed at increasing endurance, yeah. reducing fatigue and promoting greater efficiency in using oxygen. Willie, I don't know about you. I don't know a lot of 15-year-old girls that have uh, three heart medications uh, coursing through their veins on Christmas Day of any year. Uh, and so there are some people that say, well, well, two of them aren't banned, but it shows a pattern that they are actually using. a strategy. A, a, a pattern and a strategy of using heart medication like the, the one that they, they uh, found that should have disqualified her by now. Uh, for, for the purposes of, again, endurance, increasing endurance and, and uh, blood flow through the heart. Yeah, that's the key. It's not just a heart medication. I don't understand the grandfather explanation. Was she taking that, her um, grandfather's medication? Baffled. I have some follow-ups on that. But yeah. it's, it also well, enhances probably... performance. It just does. It's on the banned list. If you test positive for it, you're not supposed to compete. She competed last night. She is perhaps... The, she may grow up to be the greatest figure skater of all time. She's the best in the world right now at 15 years old. Mm -hmm. But obviously last night there were a lot of people frustrated. Why is she allowed to skate if she tested positive for a banned substance? Johnny Weir and Tara Lipinski, the great commentators for NBC Sports, they kind of went silent last night during her performance. They say this is just mm -hmm. uncomfortable for us. We're going to watch it. We're not going to comment on it making clear they don't think that she should be on the ice. I would point yeah. again to Shakari Richardson, the great American yeah. sprinter who qualified first for the 100 meters, was supposed to be at Tokyo. She tested positive for THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, was immediately pushed out of the Olympics. It's on the banned list. She tested positive, couldn't run. So why could this 15-year-old skater who tested positive for something that actually enhances your performance, unlike marijuana, why is she out there skating? Yeah, you know, and it's a real shame, Willie, too, because you, you, you look at her, uh, extraordinary skater. Yeah, uh, this is kind of yeah. like the Barry Bonds thing. Like, if Barry Bonds had never taken steroids, he would have been in the Hall of Fame a long time ago. He was one of the greats. Uh, you can tell she's one of the greats. And people around her uh, have done her a, a, a horrible disservice. Her real introduction uh, to the world stage is one of the great skaters, possibly, as you say, of all time, uh, has been marred by by legal drug. Yeah, and, and she is she's brilliant. She is. There, there's no other way to put it. And Johnny Weir said that last night on the he, he said, look, she is one of the best we'll ever see. But this is not right that she yeah. shouldn't yeah. be out there. And you're right. Tragic. Perhaps people let her down. I hope she doesn't have a heart condition. That would be terrible. But the rules are the rules. And the fact of the matter is she tested positive for a banned substance before the Olympics. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.